It's the second most joyous time of year outside of Christmas. It's football season, folks, and it's bison football coming to you this coming Thursday against the Wachita Tigers, and we're glad to be joined by the head coach, Chris Jensen, here on the Bison Sports Network. Coach, thanks for taking time out of your busy week uh, to come and speak with us. Obviously, this is the, uh, the fun time of the year, the fall, uh, the gridiron. How excited are you with uh, the guys that are back, a lot of new freshmen? Where are you on the excitement level for this season? Uh, we're extremely excited. Um, I think we've maximized our, our preparation up to this point. Um, you know, the young guys have really stepped up, and we do have some leaders that have stepped into position. And uh, we're, we're we're extremely excited to get to game week, though. That's what we work for. Yeah, the battling yeah. of the he same heads for a few weeks obviously gets tiring. I want to quickly look back on a really fun year last year. We got some momentum going into the offseason after the uh, bowl win over Permian Basin. How positive did that impact did that experience impact this program it's a, it was a first for obu football and you know we, we do have a history beyond just the 2012 start of this program um, but you know anytime you do a first it's monumentous or m m momentous and <laughs> so yeah we we celebrated and you know we got the rings we did the whole nine yards and we are uh, it was it was good for our program it was good for our players i know i speak uh, for my cohort here at KJ Reed. We enjoyed that, that game back in December and we're excited obviously for now. Okay, let's talk about this year's team. Obviously, we're going to see a new quarterback uh, in the shotgun in a few days. The great Preston Hare is gone and now we've got a transfer in Dayton Wolf going to be stepping in to, to lead this offense. Right. Tell fans about what he's like uh, after having watching him uh, the last few weeks. Yeah, we've had a really strong battle at quarterback. Um, very pleased with how Aiden Thompson and Dayton Wolf both attacked it. Um, I think Dayton just edged out a little bit. Um, and he, he has a little bit of edge on his reads and being more consistent on his reads. Um, it, was a, it was a close competition, though, but uh, Dayton is the starter right now. Okay. And we have to, of course, mention Keelan Harris, who's getting some Shrine Bowl love. And obviously, he had a heck of a season last year, 16 receiving touchdowns, took one back uh, against Northwestern State as a kickoff returner. This is a guy we want the ball in his hands. Talk about what you expect from Keelan Harris this year. Yeah. Keelan is a phenomenal talent. Um, he's a, he's definitely an NFL prospect. Um, he's got he's a draft pro, or projection, so I think seventh round grade by some of the the scouts. And the scouts that come through just love watching him practice. The way he prepares, the way he he just goes about his business every day. That's that's what's separating him from everybody else right now, and what's drawing the attention of the scouts is is not only his athletic ability but how he's preparing on a daily basis. Awesome. Uh, let's swing over to the offensive line. We've got uh, Zach Frazier, who helps us in athletics a good bit. He's one of your captains this year. Uh, what do you make of the offensive line that's coming back with uh, you know Zach leading the way there? Yeah, with Zach leading the way, he's playing a new position, but we like where he is right now. He's moving from right guard to left tackle. Um, we're as big as we've ever been up front, and it's uh, you know it's good to have experience. We have a lot of years' experience across the offensive line, and so that's where it all starts. As being a former offensive lineman, you've got to you got to praise those guys. So, you ever uh, consider putting a helmet back on and just going out there? Uh, no, I would get hurt. Get hurt. Okay. I would get hurt. <laughs> Coach, uh, quickly on the offensive end, we've got a really good offensive coordinator in Daniel Eaton. What does it mean to have the, a guy that's been around here coming back to lead the offensive uh, a charge, uh, coaching wise? Well, the the good thing about Daniel is he's got the respect of the players and the coaches, um, and he is he's he just carries himself in a way that is respectable and. Um, he's knowledgeable. Um, he's he's fair. He's firm, consistent. Um, he he knows the game, and he he's he straight uh, shoots players straight. Um, he he's been able to manage the staff really well on the offensive side of the ball. Um, and you know he's he's been here for a few years, and he's he's committed to Bison football. He 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 wants to see his players graduate, and so you know a guy like him might get other opportunities, but he's he's committed to OBU football. Let's switch side to the defense. You're, you've been around here 10 years now, 29th year coaching. In terms of OBU, is this maybe the, the having the best depth coming back on the defensive side that you've experienced heading into a season? I mean, Torian up front, you also got Malik, Nick Boone, Trajan Lands. Uh, Tyler King, what do you make of this defense coming back? Well, the way they've prepared is what's special. 
this off season. Um, you know, we do have a lot of returning players, and but I think Coach Elisario is doing a phenomenal job trying to get these guys ready to go at, at to play at the college level and and to play a quality opponent like Washita Baptist right off the bat. Um, you know, he knows his stuff. He's he's studied. He's um, trying to put these players in the best position to be successful, and they've worked. They've they've you know rallied around that. And they've, they've worked extremely hard to get to game one. Just a quick note on Coach Elisario. Comes over from Southeastern, and he's been here a few months. How did you get him here? And, and describe maybe what his skill set as a coach is. Well, it's kind of funny. It's a, it's a Durant connection. Um, we lived in Durant many years ago. And uh, somebody from our Sunday school class um, was good friends with him and his wife as they, they uh, lived in Durant. And she just visited us a couple of years ago and said, if I ever had a spot, I needed to look at Coach Elisario just because of the kind of man he was, the quality of his character, how he would be a mission fit at OBU. And so when, we, when that spot came open, he was somebody I called. And as we talked about the position, um, I knew he was the right person for the job. Okay, of course, we've got to touch on special teams. you got a returning kicker who's made some impressive kicks in the preseason. We're speaking of Guillermo Garcia. Uh, what do you make on the special teams then from what you've oh, seen? He's really worked hard to perfect his craft, um, and he's, you know, he's moved into those punting duties as well. And so um, he's, he's a three-way kicker right now. He'll kick off on, uh, from the tee, and then he will punt, and he'll also do PAT field goal. Um, and so, you know, phenomenal effort on his part getting ready for the season and it showed um, in preseason and then you know that we've got a lot of returning guys that have a special special teams experience you talked about Keelan already as a returner he's still back and, and able to do that so yeah we've got a lot of experience in that area as well. well coach my final thought as we enter a game week what's the biggest key for us before Wachita comes to town on Thursday night we've got a peak at the right time um, and I think in the past that's one of the things that we've struggled with I think we peaked too early and then you get into game week and, and you kind of have a lull and it, it carries over into that first kickoff and that's what we saw last year when they returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown against us and so I don't feel like we've peaked yet I, th I think we're still moving in that direction and I, I think our guys are preparing well um, you know, obviously conditioning is a big issue, and I feel like we're attacking that. And, uh, you know, it's – I think we'll peak at the right time on Thursday, September 1st, right here on, on at Crane Family Stadium. That's, we're excited for you, Coach. We can't wait to see what happens uh, uh, against the Tigers that night. Thank you for your time, and we will catch up with you during the season, all right? All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was Bison football coach Chris Jensen. His team taking on the ranked Wachita Tigers this Thursday night, September 1 at 6 p.m., a nationally ranked opponent coming to our place, folks. OBUBison.com slash tickets. We need you out there for your support. He's Coach Chris Jensen. I'm Clayton Kaufman. Thanks again, folks, for tuning into the Bison Sports Network. We'll see you next time.